Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Stone Age World here on Pepe TV and this is Pepe TV. And today I'll just like to update you on how to complete the normal mode chapter 4-2. So if you've been watching my channel, um, I'm sure you've seen that we were stuck on 4-2 and we're not able to determine how to complete that stage of normal mode. So just um, just go to normal mode and today I'll, I'll show you how to go uh, how to complete that one and what needs to be done and also um, a few more tips related to completing that stage anyway um, I'm already level 60 now and in level 60 hard mode opens up especially if you've completed all the other I mean all the stages so but we need the star so that we can get the Procuse here uh, Actually, I've not completed the final phase because it's really tough B But maybe if I get the level 5 um, Monster that we need for chapter 4-2. So this is the one um, We're in we need to enter a battle with heal. So I find out that uh, this one uh, and including I think uh, there are also other Stages where that one is a requirement. Let me just check uh, here here so as you can see it's enter a battle with death and I completed it so that that really struck me and uh, as strange because uh, I'm not sure how I completed the enter a battle with death and I cannot complete the enter a battle with heal so after a few experiments and trials I found out that um, th these heal and death mean uh, the monster types that you are so if you go to the codex um, there's a in the family list uh, there, you can see here there's a, a note like death and there are only a few pets that have heal type so there are three of them one is wataka monasif and doravis so all of these guys are um, either summon or can only be um, can only be captured when you are level 60 so forest cave floor 2 is only open when you are level 60 so right now I'm already level 60 so I can proceed to capture this wataka and also I prepared uh, the ropes the trainer ropes so we can get better stats hopefully <laughs> So let's just go to the forest cave level 2 and capture a wataka. So let's see where the watakas are. Actually, okay, there's a wataka and there's also a timaka. I'm not sure about uh, the difference. Um, let's see. Okay, so there are two hidden pets. The baka and the... Uh, I think this is the, the other guy, the Winaka. So, um, they are both wind type with fire and earth. And the uh, Timaka is the, um, let's see the Wataka. Uh, Timaka is the earth type. Um, let's capture. Uh, it also has the same hidden pet, uh, both wind type and, um, wind type and fire and earth so let's just do a fast capture here um for for my build i will be replacing i mean for my lineup i'll be replacing my old um takaki since it's a wind element and my bokgon is also a wind element but since it's a heal it will uh, wataka will um will be a bit be a be better combo than my um Takaki so let's just capture one and hopefully we can get a one of these three star hidden pets here Wish me luck So capturing now and let's see the results Okay, we got one and it's an a class all right, so uh, just what we needed. It's a uh, Baka <laughs> Actually in my country Baka means cow, but in Japan Baka means um <laughs> it's a bad word I cannot uh, say it here <laughs> or else I'll get um, I'll get my video taken down anyway um, 
just search for it in Google Translate. And we also got an A plus uh, Wataka here, and an A Wataka, and a B Wataka, and another B Wataka. So I I'm gonna be using this one as replacement for my Takaki. So let's just do that, and hopefully, um, let's first replace our lineup with the um, Baka. Where's that Baka? Uh, this is the Baka. So let's just replace our Takaki here and then probably we need to replace our token as well with a heal token um, here. Uh, okay. So um, tokens are important guys especially um, if you want to make your uh, pets stronger. Uh, just make sure you use the correct token for each uh, pet in your lineup. Anyway, I'll be discussing that in another video, so hopefully you'll be looking that up as well. And since uh, our Baka is level 1, um, we're going to level it up. So let's start by feeding him some uh, meat, medium meat. Um, actually, I think we can just uh, transfer, but transferring costs a uh, shell. So like, if I want to transfer that one it will cost 4100 shells uh, which I don't like because a uh, shell is important in upgrading as well as in buying other stuff that's very good for the pets so let's just feed him anyway we have uh, 200 medium meat and we can always get the meat from stones and stones we can get from quests so let's just use the meat So I'm gonna level him up until level 59 and then I'm also gonna do research, increase his HP so that um, he can he can continue using his skills for, uh, for the team. Uh, let's, like, let's use the 500 meat. So we are near the target level now, it's uh, just 5 more levels. Alright, uh, le level 58, we almost uh, use up all our meat here, but yeah, that's the cost of putting a new pet. So let's improve his skills as well, let's see if we can improve it. Yep, we have, um, this one heals and allies HP by 4% of the caster's HP, and then sacred dream marks and an ally that healed, apply sacred dream marks. 3 smart on an ally that healed up with Wataka's for 3 turns. So, and this one heals all allies HP by 6% of the caster's max HP. So it's pretty, it's quite small but um, anyway we can use that one. Let's just level it, level the skills to the maximum that we can level up and then increase his HP because his heal depends on his HP and hopefully we can get it to level 15. Nice. I'm not sure. I think we should add defense but we don't have the pet coin so we, we will get the pet coins later. And um, I'm, uh, okay. Let's see. Um, okay. Um, there's a uh, something. Okay. So we can also train him. So in training uh, you will be spending stones to refresh the training cards so i suggest that you don't stop refreshing until you get this one the red one that one is very useful because um since we are doing six percent of each hp so we are basically just adding 25 or 28 points 27 points i mean 36 points um of heal uh of uh, 36 points of heal to his skill so let's continue refreshing here. Hopefully we'll get another HP, a red HP. All right, we got another one. So guys, uh, just be careful when you are doing this, uh, these refreshes because it could take a lot of uh, stones from you, and you can just stop later when the the red cards no longer show up. Okay, looks like we are lucky today. So we got three. HP force 
and we got 1800 with 6% of that being 96 I think uh, 90 oh not 90 5% is 90 but anyway um yep uh, that's uh, okay uh, no it's not uh, so 10% is 180 5% is 90 so 6% is 90 plus 18 which is 108 so we just added 108 worth of heal to his skill all right to his ultimate ultimate skill and then um, the other one uh, the this one yep it's just 4.3% uh, uh, sorry for my dog uh, if you can hear him crying he just wants to get out so I wanted to put a uh, Torogo in my lineup as well but I think it won't jive with my other pieces uh, we'll have two less damage here so um, although I, I kind of like his um, ultimate because it removes the confuse but it only uh, limits it's limited to confuse so it's not really useful if your enemies don't use confuse if they use poison or uh, scar so let's continue and uh, let's try and beat the normal mode uh, uh, chapter 4-2 where is that one okay this one so you can enter normal mode basically from anywhere and as long as you have the specific pets um, you can you can complete the level so, also this is a tip for level 60 if you are wondering where the easy map went you can just click on the arrow here and then click easy so you can uh, and then select the the stage the chapter that you want to visit so lot let's challenge this one enter a battle with heal use a pet ultimate skill two times win within eight turns all right so let's let's try and beat it well we can actually beat this easily with, even without the baka but um let's just use auto and then for my baka i'll be using the ultimate as well so they'll be having a hard time beating my Bakpa because um, we just improved his HP to a lot, <laughs> like 1,800 points. So that's what I also tried to do with my snail, so that he can just absorb any attack, any basic attack from the enemy. Yeah, that's that's what I like about my Vokgun. So we have uh, wind, uh, fire, earth, water, and another wind. So there are only four. So I guess we go with the wind, wind type. So as you can see, guys, um, we completed the inter battle with heal. So that one means that. Uh, we need a heal type pet in order to complete it so we get the reward this time it's a soul stone for uh, Prakius family which we will get if we complete the final stage which I am still having a hard time so let me just show you how difficult it is we need to kill or defeat the enemy within five turns but the other uh, requirements are quite easy however the enemy is quite tough so let's just I'm gonna show it to you anyway. Let's try it. Sorry if this video has been uh, very long, but yep, let's uh, let's just auto them. So our tactics will be uh, to kill them, uh, to defeat the man move first, and then uh, stop the trainer from casting her skills. I think sh uh, she has a uh, big damage, so we all right we got her uh, we got the manmu and then we will deal with the trainer so hopefully our um our skills will be able to eliminate the trainer all right and then poisoned all right 
I'm not sure. Okay, nice. So our angel Kui will hear our Moga, and then um, in the next turn our Baka will heal our. Okay, he, uh, he ran away, so we'll be focusing on the remaining troops. Let's see. I hope we can complete this. See that. Oh, our our book gun just uh, fainted. So maybe, hopefully, we can finish this one in five turns. Okay, looks like okay, looks like we'll be we are winning, guys. But unfortunately, the remaining monsters are still have huge HP, and um, we don't. This our snail just does doesn't have enough damage but hopefully we get the crits uh, I think we'll lose this one guys so we're not able to defeat them in one in five turns but we will be able to defeat them in six turns so that's a nice improvement now we understand what the mechanics are and then maybe I'll, I can defeat this um, in next try but I will not be showing you that because uh, this video is already very long so thank you for watching and see you in the next video